Hello and welcome to the It's Raining Crafts Podcast. My name is Raina. You can find me on Instagram and Ravelry under SF Chick. My um today is Thursday, May 12th, 2016. It is my 39th birthday. The last year of my 30s. I remember turning 30 when I used to live in San Francisco. I went around on my 30th birthday around the city with my friend Mitch and got my picture taken with some Amber Grammy models that I thought were just like statues or mannequins. So, um, we had, it's been a good week since I last talked to you. We, um, I've been celebrating my birthday all week, so today my actual birthday I get I'm relaxing and doing some stuff around here and um, so Sunday we um, celebrated my birth I celebrated my birthday with my in-laws we um, it was also Mother's Day and my in-laws anniversary so we went over there I we went over there and um, Cal gave me my Mother's Day present. He it was a, it was a pair of amethyst earrings. He's like Happy Mother's Day, and then he's five, so you know how they are. They just run, just like give you your present and don't wait for you to open it. And I have to call him back to open the present. So um, I said, Should I put them on? And he said yes. So Mima cleaned them and. I put them on and and then Mima and I she did a little bit of gardening pulling her weeds out of her garden and then we sat on the back deck and knitted so she was knitting on her trillion by Martina Bam and I was knitting on my contented Cardi because I want to get that done before before August I'd like to have it done now I'm just knitting for length and um so that's what we have been doing we have and then on Monday was my usual day to go to the in-laws so I went to my in-laws and Saturday Saturday no wait Monday I went to the in-laws and we were just hanging out and and I was knitting some more and we went to um, we picked Kel up from school and it was raining so it was like really nasty and dreary and um we had a nice time. We had, and then on Tuesday, my sister-in-law texted me. She said, "There's a birthday surprise coming for you. I want to make sure that you're awake." So, um, they actually sent me flowers for my birthday. I don't have the picture. I have the picture on my Instagram if you follow me. They're beautiful. They're yellow and they're red roses and yellow flowers, like. Um, let me find the picture on Instagram. And, um, they, here are my flowers. They're, they're beautiful. Glare of the phone. But I have them next to my TV. So, um, and then Monday night, I got a text for my, for my, friend Natalie who I knit those yellow socks for her socks finally fit her I'm so happy because she sent me a picture she's like they fit they fit I'm like yay so she tagged me on Instagram too on her feed and it was like I was so I was so worried that they wouldn't fit her and um they do 
and I was I was so I was so thrilled you it's like oh these are gonna fit her these are gonna fit her these need to be a little longer it's now I have the formula down and I can go on to future socks for her and um, I got lots of goodies over the weekend yesterday I went to my there was a preschool field trip to um, that pet place up in Lancaster Pennsylvania it's a huge store I have everything that you could like ever imagine and then they had I had a giant bunny and the funny thing about the giant bunny was I thought it was a statue so so I'm like I looked in there and I'm like oh it's just the statue they put it on top of the box where it sleeps and stupid not stupid me but airheaded me it moved and I'm like oh my god I thought that that it was the size of my cat my average size cat she's if you hear like a little jing jing jingling that's her she's she's at my feet while I'm talking to you so um why don't we get into what I got for my birthday so my mother sent me my mother lives in California as you know and she usually comes to visit for me for my birthday well this year she didn't because we're going to the preschool graduation she's coming in in like three weeks for Kel's preschool pre-k graduation so the first part the first um the first thing that I got was a set of Haya Haya interchangeables. This is the large set. This goes from size 9 to size 15. And it comes in a very neat case. I And then here's size 9. It goes all the way to 15. Now I already have my interchangeable set, my Knitter's Pride. But I don't have now I have the sizes that Knitter's Pride didn't get me in this so the Knitter's Pride, Knitter's Pride, Knitter's Pride goes to size 11 it doesn't and I use when I knit I knit 13 with like sometimes I knit hats with 13s or 15s so um I got that and then I got this jacket a jacket for my birthday I didn't know what it was but it's it comes down and it covers my butt and I'm always wearing these types of jackets out in the spring so I woke up and I was like oh there's something in my door so I opened the door and um, I opened the package open the door yeah I opened the package and um, there were two of these jackets in there one was gray one was um, this color so they're comfortable and they're nice and comfortable enough to sleep in <laughs> too so I got this and my other one is like a charcoal gray and then I got these earrings these peridot earrings for my son yesterday because I told my mother-in-law I said I'm just going to relax on my birthday I'm not going to do anything I'm not going to come out here like I was planning to so um he gave me my earrings and you know five-year-olds and games and he's like I'm like should I put them on he's like yeah he's like yeah so I put them on today 
and earlier when the guy skyped me I was able to show my husband and my um, son that they I had my earrings on that they got me or Mima and Kel got me but um and then I got a pair of Knitter's Pride interchangeables size 17 I don't really use the 17s I mean unless unless it's a big bulk, bulky yarn I'll use the 17s but these are huge I'm like oh my god look how huge they are so I put them in with my Knitter's Pride needles needle set and um, so why don't we get into what I'm knitting since we're already 10 minutes in so the first project that I'm working on I'm using the notes from the last podcast because I didn't write up notes for this podcast yet so the first one that was on the list was a sock I got this this is Sweet Georgia Bulletproof Sock in the gelato colorway. You see the last time that I was I wasn't I was knitting the the cuff more, but you see I did my heel flap and my turn and I picked up for my gusset. So um I did that on both socks. Well, I was watching The Voice the other night because because sometimes mindless, you know, mindless TV, mindless TV like The Voice, you can work on something like socks, heavier stuff like Game of Thrones and Outlander, you need that mindless knitting to go on. So I'm I did the one sock. And I did the second sock and um, I'm at the same place and then I started Kel's hat Kel's bankhead hat and I really wasn't happy with um, the way it was turning out so I doubled I doubled my yarn So, instead of casting on 100 stitches, I cast on 75. I'm about at 4 inches right now. I think go to 7. Once I get to 7, I'll have him try it on to see if I need to do anything more or start my decreases. But I... His hat out of this color fell apart, so I promised him that I would make him another one. So that is in my Chicken Boots Double Double bag that I got at my first Stitches West in 2012, I think it was. My mother bought it for me. And then I'm working on my terribly simple shawl. So the this is my Game of Thrones and Outlander knitting when I'm watching them because it's I wouldn't say it's so simple, but really it is. It's um what happened there? something happened oh I have to work back or maybe not but you see the last time I was here I was right where that stitch marker is and I created and I created some more and I think that this is going to be my Christmas knitting this one is for me because I bought this from an indie dyer and the flying kettle 
she's based in Georgia, but you, you see it's getting there. It's about over 100 stitches now. And I have about this much to go. And this is in my Chicken Boots sock box bag. I actually got this bag a year ago today in New York City. So, um, that's kind of cool. And, um, and then I started another hat, another gridiron hat for the craft show that I knit for in that fall. So I, when I got my high highs this past weekend, I took the ten and halfs out and knitted the brim. I just finished the brim like maybe an hour ago. So this is home, Lion Brand Hometown USA in the Portland wine colorway. I just did a knit to pearl to brim and then I, I'm going to start to get into the meat of the hat and it's a really simple pattern it's you knit two rows and then you knit one slip one knit one slip the third row is knit one slip one and then you knit one and then you slip one and then you purl one with the yarn in front so it's just a four row repeat and that'll be that'll be um done for the craft show because i wanted to try it it's like anytime i get new needles i want to try them out right away so I have about eight projects in my Ravelry page so far. In my Ravelry, my Ravelry projects so far because I have my sweater. I have three pairs of socks. I have Kel's hat. I have that hat. So that's about eight. Eight projects. If I'm... If I'm correct, let me, I'm checking in on my phone right now to see how many projects I have. So I have my sweater. I have my three pairs of socks. The dew drop I'm making for my mother. I didn't make any progress on that this week. Kel's hat, purple hat, and the shawl. So that's but um, other than that I don't have anything finished this week I wish that I did so I can so I can just click end on the projects because I have I have really bad casts on itis today and so I think that's about it that I have for you today. Up and coming projects. I don't have anything up and coming on my radar. I'm, I am going to um, knit on my mother's blanket come June 1st to participate in the Unknit Cow for Twin Set Designs. But um, other than that, oh, I did get new skein of yarn today. For my Fiber Issa Club, I got this beautiful medium gray. It's La Jolla 100% Super Wash. 400 yards. And then it's called, it's in the fog colorway. So, I love it. It's so squishy and I was like, oh, it comes on the perfect day. It comes on my birthday. Not that I'm already knitting on three pairs of socks, but maybe I need a fourth. No. <laughs> no, I'm, I'm just focused on what I'm knitting on right now. 
are these sweet Georgia socks and then I'm I got some knit picks yarn over over the um weekend too I made an order last week for Christmas yarn so it's all Hawthorne fingering and going to make a terribly simple shawl for my grandmother-in-law and possibly find another shawl that I can make for my mother-in-law and makes Natalie some socks and possibly make her a terribly simple shawl <laughs> because I like the pattern <laughs> I like how easy it is so anyway I will say goodbye to you and I hope that you have a good week take care bye